growth is kinda messy but it's definitely necessary as we've been learning in this challenge due to demand from a number of you seniors the differently able today we're going to explore chair yoga taking all these stretches and exercises just at the comfort of your seat without any pressure just for us to learn how adaptive a yoga practice can get regardless of the ability or any hindrance namaste let's do this namaste yogis it's goga kind of like yoga <laughs> two years in the game 78 posts later it is clear hip openers are the big boys or girls in yoga from sitting ones lunges squats goddesses hamstring stretches including the inversions with this foundation i'm convinced that we are ready to take a 90-day journey towards the mother of them all they call it hanumasana monkey or as most of you know it the splits enjoy the ride so, so come into a comfortable sitting position on a chair you can try get a chair that doesn't have an armrest but it's still okay so let's begin with a bit of neck stretches sit tall tilt your head towards the right side giving the left side a bit of a stretch here inhaling and exhaling stay here for a bit Bring your head back to center, tilt it towards the left, feeling that nice side stretch on the right side of the neck. Come back to center. Now drop your head towards the right side, bringing the ear towards the right shoulder. Feeling that nice stretch on the left side of the neck. Come back to center. We're going to do the same thing. So you're going to drop your head towards the left shoulder, feeling that nice side stretch on the right side of the entire neck. Stay here for a while, keeping your chest straight, feeling that nice juicy stretch on the neck. So chair yoga is one of the best exercises, a uh, set of exercises you can do at any particular point. So staying with that nice side stretch on the right side of the neck. I've taken longer here because I like stretching this side of my neck. It's always very stiff. So chair yoga is a set of exercises that is going to be available for most people who don't have access to a yoga studio so for here sweep your hands up up growing tall feeling that nice stretch of the arms and then slowly lower the hands down to your heart center inhale sweep them up once again so we're going to do seated sun salutations hands to the heart center lower them down sweep and then sweep your hands up reaching up once again growing tall palms touch lower the hands down and you can do this as many times as possible keep going for a few more rounds so seated sun salutations or the opening sequence of yoga so keep going maybe three more rounds to go hands to heart center and then gently on the last one you're going to come into stillness and then find your easy seat rest in your hands on your thighs now sweep your hands up overhead so you're going to do sun dial pose so with your right hand grab your right left wrist and then start leaning towards the right side feeling that nice side stretch on the entire left side of the upper body here rooting your bum firmly on the chair feel that nice side stretch very good posture by the way just to be able to feel um you know lose the love handles you know when practice uh regularly and it's also a very good stretch for the intercostal muscles here. And then you want to tilt your head up towards the sky as you lean even more. Come back to center. Grow your hands tall once again. Switch sides. So with your left hand, grab your right wrist. Okay. So you're going to do the same action. So once your left hand grabs the right wrist, so you find some dial on the other side. So lean towards the left. Feel that nice stretch on the entire right side of the body here gazing up towards the sky or the ceiling above you inhaling exhaling 
with every exhale you see whether you can even twist and look up towards the sky or the roof or whatever you're practicing so in my case you have the blue Nairobi sky above me where I'm just feeling that nice juicy stretch back to center I'm still breathing exhale take the hands down on the knees let's do a bit of a twist here now so reach the hands overhead with the exhale so that you can bring your left hand on your right knee and then twist and gaze towards your right shoulder lift your hands up right hand on your left knee gaze towards your left shoulder arms up once again find a twist and you can keep doing this for a while so let me give you a side view so that you're able to see inhale reach high right hand on your left knee twisting towards the left taking the head towards the left as much as possible inhale reach up exhale find a twist very good posture just to wake up the spinal column here inhaling once again find a twist towards the right side and you can even freeze and hold it for a bit just be able to soak in the stretch reach high once again twist inhale high hands down on the ground the next what you're going to do you're going to do eagle pose so cross your left leg over the right and so that you can lock it behind the right and then take the left hand under the right elbow left elbow under the right elbow and then so that the back so the hand can touch or you can hug yourself or if possible and you have the flexibility of motion just bring your palms to touch and then take your hands away from your face and stay in eagle pose here with the help of a chair keep pushing the hands away from the ears and now so that you can fold bringing the knees to meet the uh, elbows sleeping eagle and you can even try and bring it to the lower knee if that is something you want to explore inhale exhale breathing in and out stay here giving the back also a bit of a stretch here and you're also stretching the muscles on the arms and the thighs as you keep this leg locked behind and then slowly rise up to full eagle and then release and unwind come back to easy seat stay for an inhale exhale just taking it easy eagle pose on the other side cross your right leg over the left and then tucking the toes behind that left calf and then stretch your hands forward right hand sweeps under the left and so that you can hug yourself back to the palms touch or bring your palms to touch inhaling and exhaling So if it feels good just try to press your palms into each other and then push your hands away from your face stay here on your eagle pose and then when you're ready you're going to say that you can come into sleeping eagle so you're going to bring your elbow to meet your knees as if you're crunching bowing forward you can see that you can even bring the elbows on that right knee or the lower knee as they just stay with the elbows on the knee so less is more in practice. You don't want to overstrain yourself. That is the goal of this practice today. So stay here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Empty. Giving that spine a bit of a stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly rise up. Coming into sitting. And then you can gently unwind your legs and your hands come back into easy seat now sweep your hands up palms touch bring them towards your heart center others just spiral them down okay so we're going to do like um like a, like a reversed uh, hand salutation palms touch take them up then you bring the hands down so it's as if you're creating circles here just to open the shoulders on the opposite way that we were doing earlier open creating that nice circle reverse and salutation hands to your heart center 
sweep them up above your head into high prayer and then open them out wide to create in that circle. You can do this a couple of times just to ensure that you're giving that spine a bit of a stretch and mobility here and then gently release your hands on your thigh. So stay here for a moment, catching your breath. Now hug your right knee towards your chest. So you want to like hug the knee towards your chest, squeeze it tightly here as if you're crunching it deeply. And then from here, you're going to say that you can start making circles with your ankles. So one of the best ways of doing this is like, so for me, I was supporting my foot on the chair. So I just slide it out, then I start making circles. Clockwise, maybe five circles anti-clockwise, just to be able to bring in that nice mobility of the ankle here. And you're still hugging the knee uh, to your chest tightly. Just the way you usually do it when we are doing, um, you know, when we are lying on our back and then gently release that leg down. Now hug your left knee towards your chest, drawing it tightly towards your chest. Then you start making ankle uh, rotations on this other side when you are ready. I like giving my knee a kiss here, so even on the chair yoga, I can actually do this as well. You can even rest your chin on the knee. Inhaling and exhaling and start making those nice circles with your ankles. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep rotating those ankles. Just be able to give it a bit of stretch. Then anti-clockwise motion of the ankle rotations. This actually just brings in nice mobility to the ankle area or the ankle joints. Inhaling and exhaling and then gently release. Now from here, uh, draw your right knee towards your chest and then you're going to do um, half shoelace. So you want to cross your leg until the heel comes to the left side of the buttock. You can do this normally like this on the floor. So you can draw, uh, do it like this on the floor or if you have a chair that doesn't have an armrest like uh, like uh, like mine, you can try to do this. Others just keep it easy and then take your hand right and across the back and see that you can find a twist. So you want to slide that right hand on your left hip crease. And then keep your chest straight. And then when you're ready, so that you can bow forward and kiss your knee here. Others, you can just stay with your chest upright. Another option, you can take your right hand across your back and then reach with your left hand. And so that the fingers can interlace like that. And then you're still staying with the leg crossed so that you can bow forward. So it's a very good posture just to be able to stretch the shoulders. Cow face pose. Remember this from before, Gomukasan. Kiss your right knee and then when you're ready, unwind. What you do on the right, you do on the left. So now we are going to cross our left leg so that you can bring the knee to be on top of the other knee. Half shoelace pose. So in this case, now you can see my knees are literally stacked on top of each other. You can give your side view here so that foot comes towards my right side of the bottom. And then I say that you can grab that foot with my left hand and just stay upright here for a bit. The beauty of this twist is to see whether you're able to get um, that nice shoulder opening on the left. Otherwise, you can now take the left hand across your back and reach and so that you can grab your right hand. And so that you can bow forward into cow face pose, feeling that nice stretch of the shoulders and also the inner thighs are getting a very gentle stretch here as you bow forward. And then when you're ready, you can slowly ease up. Stay with your back upright for a second. Inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, another option you can try to take that run out, right, out or outwards more. You're able to find that particular twist. And this is what it looks like from the back. And then gently unwind. Oof, release that leg. Find your way back into easy seat on your chair. Now sweep your hands up overhead into high prayer. And then from here, so that you can bring your opposite hand to grab your opposite elbow. Or you can even reverse your prayer. You can take prayer hands on the back. This is what it looks like from the back. And then from here, inhale, open the chest, exhale, bow forward. So you know that you can bring your chest on your thighs and just drop your head down completely. It's a very good stretch as well on the shoulders. 
as you melt your chest towards the thighs and gaze down towards your feet. And just stay here breathing in and breathing out, inhaling and exhaling with intentionality. So you stay in here for about five to ten breaths here as you find that shoulder opening. So this actually helps if your shoulders are very stiff for you or somebody who struggles by you know always crunching your shoulders is one of the postures that can help you open the shoulders out gently release bring your hands back to your thighs into easy seat Oof. catch your breath here for a moment inhaling exhaling now bring your hands to your heart center okay now from here we're going to do a revolt chair so press your palms to, against each other and so that you can bring your left elbow on your right thigh and then keep pressing these prayer hands and then you want to rotate your chest more towards the back as you gaze up towards the sky or the ceiling above you feeling this nice twist inhaling and exhaling and you can even open your wings so you can bring the left hand down right and up as you find that nice twisting of the torso inhaling and exhaling gaze towards the right hand just be able to find this particular twist here. So it's a very good posture even while you are seated. Revolt chair twist. Usually we do this while uh, while we are in chair pose. But now we are literally seated on a chair and we are trying to find the twist here. So keep pressing those palms against each other even more. And then when you are ready, release and come back into easy seat. Relax here for a bit. Hands again to your heart center. Inhale. And then on the next exhale, bring your right elbow on the left thigh. And then keep pressing these prayer hands, drawing them towards your chest and look up towards the sky or your left elbow. Otherwise, if it's too much, you can just gaze directly in front of you as I'm doing on my camera. And when you're ready, you can open your wings out. So the right elbow is pushing the left knee and then you're gazing towards your left thumb in a nice gentle twist here. So it's like a revolt chair twist uh, with the help of the support of the chair. Stay here for a few breaths, inhaling, exhaling, deepen in the twist even more, you can bring your hands back to your heart center, into prayer hands, twist a little bit further, and then slowly release the posture. Good. Catch your breath here for a moment once again. Now inhale, sweep your hands up into high prayer, and then exhale so that you can interlace your fingers behind your back. So we are going to do like another shoulder stretch here. So you interlace your fingers like that. So once you interlace your fingers, inhale, puff up your chest, and then exhale, bow forward, taking your hands over your head as you reach down even more, feeling that nice stretch and shoulder opening going on there. So keep like taking those hands even higher, just like we do in um, devotional, the humble warrior giving those shoulders a bit of a stretch. So bringing in mobility onto your shoulders and your back here as you feel that stretch. And you can even open your knees slightly and then just bring your head on that space that you just created on your knees. And then keep taking those hands even more above your head. And then when you're already released, coming back into easy seat. Whew, great job. Now inhale, sweep your hands up. Growing tall. And then on the exhale, Bring your hands by the sides of your body and then see whether you can lift up, come into standing in front of your chair. We are going to do downward facing dog. So grab the tops of your chair and then see that you can walk away from your chair a bit and then feel that nice stretch. So as you keep pressing the backs of the chair, feel that nice shoulder stretch going on. So it's as if you're doing a down dog. If you want to deepen, you can bring your hands on the seating area of the chair. And there it is. We have a down dog there going on. So it's like modified, but you know, good enough. Still does the work. You can still feel the stretch of the spine as you press your hands, gently rolling the shoulders away from each other, keeping your feet pointing 12 o'clock. Stay on your down dog here for about 60 seconds. Inhaling. With every exhale, you melt your chest even further towards the thighs. So today we are not doing down dog on the floor, but we're using the uh, if you're using a wheelchair, this may not be accessible, so just stay with the twists that you were doing earlier at the beginning of the practice while seated on the chair. Otherwise, gently release 
and then now walk your hands towards the tip of the seat rest or the chair rest and then from here you're going to take um what do you call it tabletop so have a flat back and then walk your right leg slightly in keep the left leg where it is but make sure the feet can both point 12 o'clock now inhale halfway lift exhale start bowing forward by bending your elbows and come into pyramid pose so it's a supported pyramid pose in the sense we've been doing pyramid in this split challenge but now you're supporting this pyramid on a chair and the idea if you want to go deeper you can even bring your forearms on that seat rest and then keep dropping your head even lower as you feel that nice gentle stretch on your hamstrings in your pyramid pose stay here breathing in and breathing out breathing in exhale so the front leg will be getting the brunt of this stretch and it's there for a reason because you're bowing more deeper towards it. Otherwise, lift up into halfway, coming back into tabletop, and bring your feet to be on the same line. Now, take your right leg back. So the left leg is now forward. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward into tabletop. Exhale, start bowing forward towards that seat rest. And you can start bringing your elbows down on the ground, or not on the ground, on the chair. Just be able to drop your head even more. So you're feeling this stretch. You can even bring a micro bend on that front knee a bit if it's too much so make sure you're not straining yourself and then completely melt your head towards the seat rest as you feel that stretch on the entire left hamstring and just stay here for about 60 seconds using the support of your chair inhaling exhaling chair yoga so yeah, so these are some very gentle and simple exercises you can be doing if a studio is not accessible to you, if you don't have access to a yoga teacher, and you want something gentle, if you're leading a sedentary lifestyle, if you're older, you know, these are some postures you can try just with the help of a chair. And then gently release. Good job. Find your way back onto your chair. Exhale. I find my way back to my chair. I take my seat. Keeping your back straight here. Relaxing your hands on your knees and thighs. Now hug yourself. So bring your thumbs on either shoulder and just stay here. Take one last deep breath in. Exhale. And take Shavasana. We do today's seated Shavasana. So you just bring your hands on your knees. Close your eyes here for a bit. And just like relax. Bring in a soft smile to your face. And just let it go. Stay as long as you want, just to be able to find a bit of rest here. Deep rest. And then gently wiggle, bring yourself back to your space. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, then bring your hands to the heart center. Let's seal this practice with three deep breaths. Inhale. deep breath in and balance in master thank you so much for joining my practice i will see you on day number 75 great job everyone take care of yourself please like share subscribe see you on the next one